Hey, 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 everybody, welcome back to the channel. StrangeNet here. So, today we're going to be taking a look at the market in general, um, this stuff that I've been doing in industry and why I'm not currently doing any, and basically we'll take it from there. So, one of the things I do want to start with, and that is Plex. Plex has been quite interesting and it's been steadily increasing since, well, since August. Now, I did make a video um, some time back of uh, when it, well, it would have been around about April-ish, April, March, and I did state there that I didn't expect Plex to drop much below the, I can't remember if it was 2.4 or 2.2 mark. I think it was 2.4 to be perfectly honest, but um, don't quote me on that, it could have been lower. But time has proved me right in the long run here that it bounced off the 2.20 and it has been in ascendance ever since. And this is quite interesting, and I did run the figures, I've run this, done this video a few times and redone it, but basically the difference between Plex in your account roughly here was 1.2 billion isk, and now it's 1.5 billion isk, 1.55 billion isk. So, all in all, a 250 million isk increase if you are paying for your accounts via Plex. Now, as expected, the um, extractors basically mirror the, um, the same graph, and that is because they're all tied together, other than the uh, CCP's influence, and the skill extractors, again, the same. A little bit laggy behind, um, for obvious reasons, I hope it's obvious, but um, yeah, they lag behind slightly, but again, same curve yet again. So, will Plex go up much more than from here? Is Well, I, I can't tell you, to be perfectly honest, I do not know. And I'd be lying if I said I did. Uh, at the moment, it seems to be stabilizing. Does that mean it's going to go back down? I uh, shouldn't imagine so, but it could do with all the, the you know, the, the riots and that. But we've had recently, there may be less demand for Plex. But watch this space. Um, but if you are looking to buy Plex to hold for any decent amount of risk or return, then you've probably missed the boat on that. And that includes me, which is a bit of a kicker because I've only got 1,500 Plex. And I should have been buying them down here when I did think that the market was at its lowest. Now, I obviously didn't expect it to get back to the 3 million mark. And if I did, I would have obviously invested in some Plex. But you live and you learn. And, well, I'm learning. While I've been away, obviously I did have some industry stuff ticking away in the background. Um, I didn't plan on going off for a month and a half. But, well, you know it is. And the market has changed for now. I've... 16,000 auto integrity is not a huge amount, but I've come to sell them and realize that the uh, the market has been steadily declining at, well, a decent rate here. And at the moment, I run the numbers, and if I sell them as is, potentially I'll be losing roughly 3,000 ISK per unit. So at the moment, I'm going to hold on to them, hopefully see where they go from here. And, well, yeah, at the moment I'm not building any more because... Yeah, I'm losing ISK building, so I'm just going to sit on the pile that I have. Now, on the flip side to that, something that has made me quite happy is that the Praxis, Praxi, Praxis, who knows, has been going up in price steadily. And at the moment, we're 182 million ISK per unit. And we can see quite clearly here the uptrend. Now, it has plateaued a bit, but again, we've still got six months. Now, if you don't know, the Praxis comes out, um, at, or has done, for the last several years on Eve's birthday. So, what, May the 4th, 5th, or whatever it is, uh, a CCP generally gives us a, fr a free bunch of ships for every um, Omega account. I don't have 44 Omega accounts, but um, I bought these. Bought the vast majority at 140 million isk, and that equates to a 40 million isk increase. So, 1.7 billion isk, which, again, isn't a huge amount, but it's not bad considering I've done absolutely nothing, just sat on them. And you can see here, obviously, with the, um, last year we were, what, increasing, it was 1.8 to 200 million isk. Um, then obviously CCP drops the new ships and the price tanks. And again, we're in the same process that we were last time so i'm gonna hold these i was planning or thinking about getting rid of them but i'm gonna hold them for a little bit longer and that's because well six months till the the next drop of these ships assuming that obviously it happens again and the praxis is still cheaper than the vast majority of 
battleship. So if we look at the Raven, for instance, we are currently 100 million less than the Raven. And the Praxis is a decent ship. It's good all around. It's good for new starters. It's got mixed weapon systems, so you can use any weapon system. Um, no, but I'd say to use mixed weapon systems, that's for sure. But the point is, you can use any weapon system on it, and you can fly it with any of the uh, racial skills, etc. So it's a decent ship for new guys. It's pretty good in a lot of areas, and it's a good all-round battleship. So with it being cheaper than the rest of the battleships, I can see that potentially getting a bit higher. And again, as I said, we've still got six months to go. Now, there will obviously be people with stockpiles, probably much heftier than what I've got here, which will be thinking the same. So it's that balancing act of, do I get rid of it now and just get shut, or do I hold on to it and try and maximize the returns? But obviously, the closer it gets to May, the more people will be trying to shift their stockpiles and the more that will push prices down, you get the general gist. So I could sell it now for the profit, or I can try and hold out. And uh, it's 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 interesting, because 44, if it goes up by another 20 million, for instance, it's 800 million-esque. So it may actually be worth me holding out for a little bit longer, but it's how high, or how quickly, or how long am I willing to hold these, and will I be left holding the bag at the end of it? So it's always interesting when I start doing these videos. Um, again, I'm currently looking through the stockpiles of stuff I've got. I haven't currently looked at any of this um, until obviously I start talking about it. Um, we can see the average price was 31,000 disc, and I've been holding these. I, I built this as part of the um, getting into reactions. I've not, no, I've not done a lot of reactions. Pretty much ever. So, you know, I was trying to get into reactions, trying to work out how it worked, build a spreadsheet. And at the time when I built these, oh, it feels like months ago now, they'd had a bit of a spike. I was building them as they spiked. And that kind of flood, a lot of people built them, flooded the market, and I've been holding them ever since. And you can probably see that if I can find it on the graph, I imagine. Yeah, it was probably about here. So they were at a decent price. And then all of a sudden, yeah, the t price shot up and then tanked and then never really got back up and I've been holding them ever since. And oddly enough, as I've come to make this video, we can see a huge spike in jitter at the moment. Now, I'm not expecting it to sell for anywhere near that amount, but I am willing to give it a shot. Uh, let's get some of these on the market. In fact, probably all of them if I can. Now, 48... Is that the same person selling them all? Yeah, it looks like someone's bought out of the market and it is trying to manipulate it, which which is fine. Uh, 43, 19,000 above, uh, sales tax. Let's just go for it. So a little bit down, and that is because again, I could go at this value, but if this person is trying to manipulate the price of it then again I could have split it up into smaller values but I'm just going to leave it and see what happens and fingers crossed um, go from there but yeah if that sells for roughly there then I'll be a happy bunny because again I've been holding that for months and months and months so it'd be nice to finally be able to get rid of it uh, the Balgorn's not doing a great deal fuller rides still oh, there we go already thank you very much be interesting to see if it's the same person buys any more. I don't imagine it will be, but that's by the by. Uh, the full rides again, kind of missed the boat somewhat on this. I did, I did buy it for six hundred a unit uh, somewhere down here, and I've been holding it for a good while. Here was obviously the moment I should have been selling it, but I've held out and held out, and it's getting to that point now where I'm fed up of holding it. It's not going to do much more than it is. It may have the odd spike, so again, let's just cut our losses. Made a little bit of... Oh, fullerines. Full. You can do this. So yeah, it's probably about best time I cut my losses on this and just got rid of it because I'm fed up of holding it. So 410430. Thank you very much. Let's get rid of that. So that's now on the market. So that actually makes my stuff that I'm holding significantly less and that makes me a little bit happier. What else we got? Nothing substantial. Now again, robotics. Uh, I, keep... I bought robotics because I was hoping they were going to go up um, with the changes to uh, industry. It was kind of 
assume that they might go up due to the fact that obviously people will be building other stuff. Uh, but that hasn't really been the case. Now, it did drop quite considerably and is up what, 60. Still not a great deal. But yeah, so uh, I'm reluctant to sell these. And again, the, the nice thing about robotics is I can use them in a lot of the two, T2 production, but I can and probably will get back into. Uh, guidance systems, again, drop, 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 slowly but surely increasing. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of stuck with them as well, and the wet wares, let's have a look. So nothing particularly exciting with the wet wares. So I've got 12 billion isk here, but it's literally just sat doing nothing, and I'd like to free up some of that isk pretty much. So let's have a look, see what this stuff's doing. 17... Yeah, pretty much nothing. And how much have I got in there? 800. So where, where is the 12 billion? So 4. Yeah, 4, 9, 8. Oh, either way. So, um, so yeah, that's where I'm currently at at the moment. And that is... A th oh, just before we wrap up, I have some skins. I've not been uh, particularly good on giving away skins recently. Uh, so we've got the Tempest. We've got the Vedmac. And we have the Gila. Now, I'll quickly take you through these. So the Gila, pretty, pretty nice if you like Gila. Vedmac, we've looked at this in one of my previous videos. I love the Vedmac. Thank you very much for using that one. And the Tempest. Now, it's not a ship that gets used as much as it probably should. I love the Tempest. But um, yeah, again, I will be giving these out. Uh, until December, we're gonna have a good old blowout in December for more than obvious reasons. So keep tuned, ready for that. And with that, I think we'll wrap it up there. Thanks for listening. Thanks for your time. I hope that was useful and handy. And if you do want to see um, a video where I go into a lot more, I won't say depth, but basically just my ramblings. I'll probably, if there's call for it, I'll probably do an hour's video of me getting back into industry, what it is that I'm looking for, what and how. All the steps and all the little things that I do. So basically an unedited video of just me doing industry and what I'm looking for and, you know, just rambling through my my mind and, and basically putting it out there in a, into some kind of words and format that obviously hopefully you guys can uh, can watch and follow. So let me know if, you, if, you, if there's any interest in that. Um, and if there's not, then fine. If there is, then well, I'll think about making a video. So thanks for your time. Thanks for listening. I'll talk to you again soon.